Hey guys, what's up? It's Usual UK here. I hope you're all doing fine. Uh, today I bring to you a very special video. Um, what EA have released is a brand new Florenzi card. One of my favourite cards on the game. I got the UCL Live version, the 87. Huge testament to the fact that I think he's amazing is the fact that I played 1,200 games with his UCL Live card and uh, had to sadly depart when they released this uh, new SBC. So what I'm going to do for you today is I'm going to do this SBC. I've already uh, completed the first half of it. First of all, let's take a look at his stats. Absolutely amazing. He's plus two on all attributes and plus four in many other aspects from the previous card. Obviously, uh, to note is his rapid pace, stamina, balance, agility, um, crossing not so good, not curve not so good uh, compared to uh, maybe Cancelo, which would be a substitute for this card. But I thought the other Florenzi, uh, the 87 UCL Live version, was already better than that Cancelo. That's up for debate. If you want to leave a comment on that, that's absolutely fine. But this card is absolutely awesome. They haven't changed his height. He's still five foot eight. Um, but don't don't hate on the short guys. You know what he, what he lacks in his height, he makes up for uh, in his acceleration. Jumping's not too bad. Uh, his positioning is great, so I I wouldn't have to worry too much about that. As long as you've got a good centre back, I mean a great link if you can afford Maldini. If you can afford Maldini. So yeah, this card is great. It's got four star skill moves, and definitely I'm going to do it. 1,200 games with this old card. I wonder if I can uh, play 1,200 games with this card. Obviously, to note as well, just before we go into it, his shooting stats unbelievable. Finishing only 80, um, but they've increased it because of his wonderful goal in 2015-2016. Uh, I haven't seen that. Um, they've increased his uh, shooting stats. That's gone up by four. I wonder if that is actually going to mean he gets into more attacking positioning positions uh, and that actually leaves him uh, open in defence. I don't know. Uh, but we will do a few test games and I will do a, a review on him today for you. That is what the, the video is about. So yeah, let's get into it. So we've got two, two parts of the SBC required. One Roma player, team overall rating of 85 and team chemistry of 80. I wouldn't recommend doing it the same way I've done it, especially because now the prices of the players that I've done it with are hyperinflated. But, you know, you can check Footbin, but there are many ways to do this. We'll quickly go through the players I did acquire for this first part of the SPC. So as you can see, I've used Dzeko um, from the League SPC, the Serie A SPC I completed. I've got a free Dzeko with that, and that significantly reduces the, uh, the rating of the players I need around him. Um, yeah, unfortunately, I probably could have saved some more money here by using this. They don't, there isn't many alternative left-backs in the league, and Kolarov is one, but obviously he's a Roma player, and so now his price has skyrocketed. Um, so I kind of did half of this from a, from an SBC solution, the other half, you know, obviously because I've used my Jekko, I've put it together. So let's see how much I've spent. All right, I bought Immobile for 35500 First owner Perrin, two and a half thousand for summer, nineteen thousand Miranda, four thousand four hundred a Serbi, gone up significantly in price. Uh, Cusito, one thousand five hundred nine Golan, uh, just under sixteen thousand, eighteen thousand Linkley Savage, which is actually his uh, top price, his maximum price. He's maxed out. Um, crazy the uh, the sort of demand for this player, um, and everyone's sort of gone to. Uh, Serie A, which to note, you do not have to use Serie A, you just need one Roma player for this. Um, so watch out for that because the prices of Serie A players uh, have gone through the roof. Uh, like I will show you in my, my next part of the SBC, which I've used Serie A as well. I wouldn't recommend uh, doing it the way I did, like I say. But still, I haven't spent that much on the SBC overall. 1,600 Lucas Leiva, it's a good deal. Tuso, 1,600. Jekko, obviously my first owner. Uh, also, with this 1,600 Lucas Labour, you can easily link him here to Alexandro. That is another alternative that I did consider, but um, yeah, after having this mismatch of a, of a SBC here, um, I've gone with this, and I don't think it's too bad. So we're going to go in and submit this. And for this, we get a rare players pack. Not bad at all. 50k pack for us to enjoy. So there we go. That is... I see it, we're locked in now, we have to do this Florenzi. I would recommend not using uh, Serie A players because they are hyperinflated. 
But if you do, there are substitutions to these players. I have gone for probably the, the worst idea on the foot bin. So this is not an SBDC um, video. The video is about the player review for the Florenzi we are going to be getting as soon as I upload this. I will, however, just show you um, the price I did do it for uh, very, very quickly. So here we've got Jekko, 14,000, actually under his price, uh, 7,000 per in. Yeah, very, very high. Eight and a half for Raul Albiol, 6,700 Debris, 5,000 for Serbi, 7,400 Allen, again, very, very high for that card. 1,900 Lucas Labour, which is inflated by about 20% from the one I bought just earlier. Uh, 2,200 Suso. Um, this made it significantly cheaper. I had an untradeable Italian Team of the Week player, which is both of which are required for this uh, particular SPC. 6,000 for Gomez and uh, untradeable Mandzukic. So, not too bad, actually, considering two of them uh, were untradeable. So, okay, we're going to go ahead and submit this and get a mega pack for this. Adding to our 50k pack, we get a 35k pack. And we got our Florenzi. Come on! Let's go. Let's watch him walk out. There we go. No, no image. It's broken. Florenzi are beautiful. Let's see what kit comes out. Yes. This is what we've all been waiting for. What a legend. Beautiful, beautiful. I can't wait to use this card. So like I said, it's not an SBC video. I will be making other videos. Um, and if you have any videos you would like me to make specifically, uh, feel free to drop a comment. Uh, below and I'll see what I can do for you Let's go into the, the player review section what we've all been waiting for. So this is the team we're going to be using around this Florenzi um, Obviously very complimentary is going to be a strong link in there with Manalas. Yeah, let's see how we can do with this team We haven't come up against a very good team here, but we are in division one, so Let's not take anything for granted. These are going to be very tough situations under which we are testing this Florenzi card. He wants to. He wants to make that overlapping run. We've sent him. Oh, he beats the player easily. Nice ball. Can we find him again? Yeah. How's his crossing? Gets blocked. Gets blocked. Oh, he's brilliant in those quick free kicks. Makes the running behind. Oh. Oh, easy. Lovely, lovely bit of dribbling and a bit of pace there. Remember, his stamina is 99. He can run for days. Neymar gets Florenzi. Oh, easy marking. Beautiful. Lovely. Good last ditch defending there from Florenzi. I have noticed already the difference in strength between this and the other card. That's about it so far. Florenzi, can he? Easy to set there for Florenzo. Very nice ball. Let's put it on a plate. Oh, I can get this back post. Save. Look at that. Florenzi getting in the right position. Let's see if we can burn him down the line. 
inside. Uh, back to pace. Poor shot, poor shot from us. Go on, put that ball in there. Yes. That's not even a one two, but he's gone for it anyway. Oh, that's brilliant. Oh. Yes, Florenzi. Yes. Get in there. That's what you pay the uh, 200k for. Boom, Lorenzo, here he is, here he is, oh no, As you saw in that last build up, some absolutely magnificent play from Forenzi. Yeah, no, he's, he's making the overlapping runs, he's rapid. He's against Alexandro there. Oh, it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Well done, Florenzi. Well done. Go, Florenzi, go. Loses the ball there. Not good. Go on, Florenzi. Oh, why hasn't it done a skill? Alright, let's dive into another game with Lorenzi. See how he matches up against his counterpart here, Alan. That turn of pace, acceleration he's got there. And the close dribbling. He's uh, caused the foul. He keeps the ball very close to his feet uh, for a right back. Exceptionally fast. At the moment, not many negatives about him. His height, obviously, in the air, it's going to be a bit of an uh, issue against some taller players. But uh, we haven't come up against that so far. From this small sample of games we play with him, uh, nothing's been too much for him to handle, really. Let's see if we get him into the game again. <clears throat> As you cross, and uh, not so good. I'm starting to change my mind a bit on his attacking positioning. However, sometimes he's just not in the place you want him to be. Attack or defence, he's sort of caught in two minds in between. On this occasion, though, he intercepts the ball very nicely. Go on, test his pace out. Strength wasn't bad there. Oh, that is so strong.
goes through, has a shot. Still yet to score with him. Oh, it's lovely. Pace, strength, cross. It's not a bad cross. And he wins the free kick. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant ball for Andy. Oh, that's lovely as well. Done that a couple of times now where you can put in the tackle without actually tackling the man but completely stop the ball dead. I've not seen that before. I don't think always that's going to be a, a good thing. It might put them in a better attacking position, but we'll see. Let's have a look. Oh, he's skipping past all the players. Good strength. I mean, yeah, it was just a bit too strong from there. there. Jesus. Not sure what that ball was, but um, he's got that in his locker. Oh, what a ball. Can we finish this off for him? Oh, cross wasn't quite good enough there from Ibra. What a lovely ball there from Florenzi. You see, we've been running with Florenzi the whole game, deliberately trying to get the ball to him. And his stamina, as you just saw on the screen there, is still uh, so high. He can keep going. Probably play two matches. Could be fun. Oh, look at that interplay. Can he, get, can he get on it? At the moment, I'm thinking he's very, very good, but maybe better suited to a CDM role if you like to do that with your team. But I, I love him at right back. I, I'm definitely going to play him there uh, myself, but I think he could be, could be a CDM. He's got the passing. He hasn't really got the strength for it or the height. But, um, yeah, so far, so good. I'm just going to get a goal with him now, and then I'll give you my overall opinion. What kit is this? Absolutely filthy. Here he is, the man of the moment. Lovely. He's still going. Oh. No, I want that golden. Why can't he score? Here he is. What? Alright, I'm going to switch him up now and put him a CDM and see if he can get this goal. So far you've seen his defensive qualities and his dribbling on the ball. We would uh, really like to see if we can get him in front of goal and see what his shooting is like. Passing's great. He just gets into such good space, like there. Now what's he going to do? Just peels off. Another one. Another one too. 
Oh, I managed to get a shot off of him. Come on, just let me get that shot off with him. I want to see it. I want a green time shot. Lovely. Lovely. It's playing so much better at CDM. I already recognise a big difference. It would be justified if you did want to play in there. He's quality, quality in CDM. He gets into the space. Let's get you into a better position to score. He is. Can I face up to go? Oh, that's the first real shot we've had with him there. And look, he's there again. He's getting everywhere. He's so much more destructive already. So much more destructive than that CDM role. And one, two, can pass, can skill, can accelerate. Obviously, he's got his defensive stats as well. Oh, there he is, getting back, last-ditch defending. How's your pass? Oh, oh. Clarency, where are you? Come on, Clarency, go, go, go. Okay. Oh. Challenge. Oh, that was almost it. That really would have uh, demonstrated how good he is. We're going to put him into CDM once again. Lovely. Get that frenzy. Easy. Has he still got... Oh, he's got the ball. Oh, goal's coming. The goal is coming. There you go. And there it is. Not even green timed. Not even timed. Lorenzi manages to slot it in. That's the first of what's going to be many goals with this guy. Look at that. Right in the corner. What a ball. Yes, Florenzi. Oh. Almost again. Wow, fantastic. He has got that in him, that long pass. Can we get it back to him? There he is. <laughs> and the power on his shot is incredible. You know, our opponent didn't do much to stop us there. Tried to do the hill to hill a couple of times, didn't work, managed to get through, but you saw, I did green time the shot, and how that flew into the back, rocketed off his laces. There's been uh, two or three occasions in this game where we've had shots with him, only when we put him into central defensive midfield position, and you, which obviously he's going to get into more attack positions than if he was at right back, um, where he's just... His shots have just been something else, really. He can really hit the ball.
That would have been his hat trick. He's looking for that ball, even uh, as a CDM. He's looking for that ball all the time. He picks out a perfect one there. Well, we didn't quite manage to get Florenzi's hat trick, but he did score two goals. Here is the man of the hour. Uh, probably with that, he also gets man of the match. Absolutely, a 9.2 rating this match. I would recommend you put him in CDM. He is quality, he's an all round player. The stats are matched. I would give him five stars for his on paper stats, and five stars for in game stats. At right back, however, he can be sometimes in between attacking and defensive positioning due to his uh, work rates which I don't know as of yet if that's going to be a big problem uh, I can only tell later later on uh, down the line but yeah absolutely fantastic as you saw in this game he scored uh, two really power driven shots and one body that was almost sensational and I, I'd give him a five star value for money at only 200k this is a player that you need to have on your team absolutely I hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have please give it a like, thumbs up and uh, don't forget to leave a comment if you have any questions and subscribe. Um, any feedback is appreciated. Until next time, peace.